Um, there is new hope for people struggling with severe depression. Doctors right here in Houston performing brain surgery that's usually done on patients with Parkinson's disease. Stephanie Whitfield shows us why the results have been so promising. A few years ago, Dr. Sharon Wager couldn't imagine arranging flowers. She survived childhood abuse and more than her share of heartbreak. But she says it was depression that took away her will to live. I mean, it's just really clear to me that I have no value, no worth, and I just have to die. And in, in spite of everything, people telling me otherwise, it doesn't matter, it's just what I think. She tried every treatment option available, nothing worked. That's why she qualified for a clinical trial at UT Health. We have a, a FDA approval for up to 20 patients now. Dr. We Albert Fenoy, a neurosurgeon, is performing deep brain stimulation on people with severe treatment-resistant depression. It's a procedure commonly used to treat tremors. For this trial, doctors implant electrodes to part of the brain that affects mood regulation all while the patient is awake. So we have had 75% of our patients have been successful. So if you look at, say, eight patients that have finished the trial, six of them have been responders. Can you tell me how is she right now? Researchers follow them for five years after surgery. We gave hope to this patient, and uh, that patient gave us hope as well, that we can do better and uh, find better treatments for them. Wager got the experimental treatment a few years ago. Now she's back at work as a doctor treating geriatric patients by day, charging her neurostimulator battery every night. It changes your life. You just won't think those thoughts that you were thinking before. You just, they, they don't, they're not there. They're just gone. And you're free to actually live your life. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.